consulting genius of yours is running late. I'm sure she'll be here any minute, sir. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that Mary class is definitely worth the wait. Okay, I need the... Right here. And what about the... There you go. And the... Got it. All right. And here she is now, ladies and gentlemen, Mary Class. Good afternoon. I apologize for the delay. Miss Class, we're all here waiting to be impressed. These are the annual reports for your multi-save superstores. And that's where you'll be a year from now if those trends continue. My full proposal is already in your email. Let's go over the big points. This is the multi-save of today. But you know the problem. Let's talk about the solution. What could be done to save multi-save? Multi-save is done. Finished. Extinct. In its place? Same location? Different attitude. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to reintroduce yourselves. And that means going out to the youth market. It means getting a mascot. It means brand recognition. You don't sell hats, you sell spotlight hats. You don't sell toasters, you sell spotlight toasters. Bottled water, spotlight water. Miss Class, you want us to throw away everything we built for over half a century. Mr. Hamilton, you can't stand in the way of progress. The new paradigm is destination shopping. Instead of going shopping, people will be going to Spotlight. Instead of going to the mall, people will be going to Spotlight. Spotlight will become the number one shopping experience. That is your future. Congratulations. <laughs> There's nothing. Nothing. Hamilton's so impressed, he's putting me in charge of new business development. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Grant, that is fantastic. It's all because of you. Mm -hmm. You're just amazing. I don't deserve you. <laughs> do you have to do that right now? No, please, come in. Here's the rest of the multi-save paperwork. Thanks, Donna. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, we can get a jump on it over the long weekend. Weekend? Thanksgiving with my parents. <gasps> oh, Grant, we've been over this. You know I'm not big... On holidays. I know, I know. 
I just, I have so much work to do. I can't afford a four-day weekend. All right. How about dinner when I get back? All right. Luigi's, Monday? No, Monday's no good. Lunch Wednesday? No, I've got racquetball with Harmon. How about drinks? Hmm, not a chance. Brunch Sunday? Coffee, 8.30, a week from Tuesday. Ooh, can we make it 9.15? Done. Well, happy Thanksgiving. I'm gonna get going, too. Oh, wait. I got some homework for you. I'll, I'll get it done on Monday. Monday? Are you kidding? We gotta get moving on this. But tomorrow's a national holiday. Which means we won't get interrupted while we work. Mm. I'll see you in the morning. See ya. Find a latte on Thanksgiving. Thanks. Oh, what a mess. Mess? It's all sorted. Ad campaign, market research, logo test, PR. You're amazing. Scary, but amazing. I'll start uploading. Class consulting. Oh, sure. Uh, one moment, please. It's your mother. My mother? <laughs> We connect in Toronto before... Where is Polaris, anyway? North. Far north. No, 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 no. The heavy coat. I thought this was it. No. The green one. Well, I hope your dad's all right. Ah, uh, he's a force of nature. A heart attack won't even slow him down. There's no green coat in here. There's a sleeping bag. No, that's it. I can't really see you wearing something like this. It's not for me, it's for you. It gets very cold up there, trust me. Hey, thanks for going with me. I know it's not much of a holiday. Where you go, I go. <laughs> you know, there's there's something that um you need to know about my family. They're uh different. Families. You can't be embarrassed by them, what good are they? Yeah, well my folks are kind of on a whole other level. Thanks, Ben. You have a good Thanksgiving? Sure did. Me, turkey, and my boys. How about you? Me, turkey, and the boys. <laughs> yeah, they're good company, though, huh? You know they're just dogs, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, but don't tell them that. <laughs> Mind giving me a hand with the pole? Uh, yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Gotta salt the road. Yeah. That time of year, right? Yeah. Oh, looks like you got yourself a customer. Yeah. Oh, this is heavy. See ya. See ya. Oh. Hi, little puppy. Oh, this is very cute. Hi. Hello, guys. <laughs> hey. Ooh. Hey, puppy. Hi. Oh. Hey, ladies. Can I help? Long 
time no see. Well, well. Look who's back. It's, um, it's nice to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm here to see my dad. Yeah, listen. Don't worry, your old man, he's tough. He's not gonna miss a beat. Yeah, well, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, this is my assistant, Donna. Hi. Assistant? Wow, so you really got to be that big shot after all, huh? We were hoping to get a ride. Yeah, sure, why not? I was heading that way. Hey, um... Refresh my memory. What is it you say to get the dogs going? You can't be serious. Mush. Oh. I can't believe I fell for that. Again. Some things never change. Sure about that? Guys. Freezing here. Christmas up here. Donna, are you coming? This is where you grew up? It's a bit much, isn't it? Donna. Hello, Donna. Hi. Welcome. Oh. Hi. All right, here you go, guys. I got today's delivery for you. Right. Great. Yes. Dave, get that down to processing. Stop. Whoa. 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 I'm 
sorry. Mary? Your... Your dad? Is Santa Claus? Kind of. Yeah. Kind of? Luke, uh, can you do me a favor and help Donna get settled? Sure. Good to see you too, Mom. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Mary. I don't mean to make a fuss. Hmm? But you can hardly blame me. It's been six years. Four, Mom. Well, it feels like six. But I suppose it's hard to find time to visit when you're so important. Well, I'm home now, Mom. <laughs> how's, uh... How's Dad? Well... The doctor says he'll be fine. Just fine. Good. Good. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll go unpack first. He's in the living room. Go, 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 go. called you? No. Nope. She did. Hey. How you feeling, Pops? Well, it looks like you came all this way for nothing. We're only a little behind. Your mother's doing what she can. As soon as I'm up, I'll... That's why I'm here. I can help. No. But, Dad, I know the Christmas drill better than anyone. The Christmas drill? No. But, Dad... No, Mary. I'll be ready in no time. Ready to go around the world in a sleigh in four weeks? I don't think so. Morning, sleepyhead. Mm, what time is it? Ah, it's a little after eight, dear. Ugh, Mom, what is all that stuff? Breakfast for your father. Didn't it occur to you that eating this stuff is what gave him the heart attack? Well, this is what we always eat, dear. <laughs> no kidding. Do me a favor. Whatever Dad asked for, <gasps> off the menu. <gasps> I could run into town and get some bran muffins. Oh, what a thoughtful young lady. <laughs> Listen, Mom, we need to talk. We are talking, dear. Mom, this is serious. What's going to happen on Christmas? Oh, I'm sure your father will be up and about by then. He had a heart attack. It'll be months before he's back to normal. Well, I'm sure we'll manage somehow. Can't the elves run things? Oh, 
<laughs> What? The elves can barely dress themselves. Well, the older ones. Yeah, the older ones can dress themselves. But who's going to supervise the toy making? Who's going to approve the list? Who's going to deliver the presents? You have a suggestion? Yeah. Me. No, no, no. Don't you mean ho, 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 dear? We've talked about this, and I already told you. I won't have it. You talked about this? <sighs> Nicholas, Mary came all this way. She's here so you could get better. Don't be ridiculous. There's absolutely nothing wrong with me. I'm as strong as a polar bear. Nicholas, please, you can hardly move. How are you going to go up and down millions of chimneys in one night? Same way I've always done it. We've been through this. Mary's just a girl. Oh, oh psh, that's not what I meant. It, she's too young. She's too headstrong. She's she's too impulsive. Uh, hello. I'm in the room. She's the same age as you were when you started out. You know what, Mom? Just forget it. It's no use. He'll never change. Why should I change? I've been doing this since long before you were born. Christmas is a big responsibility, Mary. Frankly, you're not up to it. Up to it? Dad, I run my own company. People pay me to tell them how to run their business more efficiently. Oh, and I suppose you tell them just change everything. Just forget about tradition. Dad, there's a difference between being traditional and being primitive. <sighs> You're being naughty. I think I'll be the judge of that. For how long? A month, at least. Through Christmas? You got it. Seriously? Aha! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What's this? This is Christmas. My Christmas. A lifetime of my ideas. Stuff my dad was either too pig-headed or too scared to ever try. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Different shapes for candy canes. Oh, uh, blueprints for turbo slime. <laughs> oh, sweaters for the reindeer. <gasps> Cookies with eggnog inside. Ooh. Yeah, well, that one really didn't work out too well. Jeez, looks like you're really into this stuff. What happened? He never listened to me. Not once. I mean, I know my ideas aren't all gems, but I had thousands of them. You'd think he'd at least given one or two of them a shot. Well, you know what? It's my turn now. My Christmas. Good morning, team. I've got some good news. Uh, Mary is going to take over for the boss this season. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough crowd. Hmm. Watch and learn. Mary. Thank you for that introduction, Gary. It is so great to be home again. <laughs> what is with this coffee?
coffee. Oh, it's hot cocoa. Oh. <clears throat> I know my father has tremendous respect and admiration for everyone here. But I can't help but think that we have been given a unique opportunity to move this operation out of the 12th century and into the 21st. Isn't she brilliant? We are going to have this should be interesting. Every morning, and I want to hear some new ideas. Also, I'll need daily productivity reports, and I want to see those numbers going up. Skip, poor Skip. You're in wrapping, right? Uh huh. I'm going to need you to move half your team over to production. At the end of the day, wrapping is expendable. But, but I, I like rapping. <laughs> it's not about what we like. It's about volume, people. Let's be proactive. Let's think outside the box. Let's take the elf out of selfish and make this the best Christmas ever. You called for me? Yeah, Gary. I'm going to need you to get the most recent productivity reports.、Uh, but Santa never asked for these. Santa isn't in charge. I am. Productivity reports. Go. Uh. Okay. I have a very important job for you. I'm going to need you to go over the list. The list? What list? The list. I'm going to need you to check it and then check it twice. Bingo. Be thorough. Donna, I've waited so long for this. <laughs> How's your dad? Oh, he's all right. You know, he's a pain in the neck, but that's pretty much par for the course. I'm glad to hear he's okay. When are you coming back? Yeah, um, I'm gonna be up here a little longer than I thought. Um, Mary, there's some stuff I need to take care of. Oh. What? Well, I sort of told the board that you'd have the spotlight product test back before Christmas, but I guess I can get them to wait until after the first. No, no, Grant. I've had some stuff shipped off. Do you know me? I can multitask. Oh, Mary. No.、Um, Grant, listen. I gotta go.、Uh, can I call you tonight? All right. Kiss, kiss. Bye. What's up, Gary? I, I couldn't find any、uh, productivity reports, so I brought candy canes instead. Then. So, seriously, how are we gonna do the product tests?、Uh, hey, Gary. Huh? I need you to round up some of your buddies and meet me in the break room. Can you handle it? You betcha. Here we go. These are your comment forms, and I'll be picking them up after we're done. Okay, gang. Listen up. Out in the real world, we have something called focus groups. Today, I'm going to need you to be my focus group for a project I'm working on back home. Yes, Lucy. Is this like make believe? Yes, it's exactly like make believe. Yeah. yeah. What I need is for you to pretend to be consumers who may or may not be interested in some of these things. Sound like fun? Yeah. All right, let's get started. Okay. Um, Skip. If I gave you this toaster. What would your reaction be? You're giving me the toaster, me. For research purposes, yes. Why?、Well, I I don't know what to say. I love it. Good, an honest reaction. Okay, what exactly do you love about this toaster? Wow. I mean the fact that you gave it to me. I mean, this is like the happiest day of my life. <laughs> I have a toast. Yeah, yeah. Come on. 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 Come on.
<laughs> Focus. <laughs> He's got a toaster. Wow. Focus. Can anyone tell me what qualities they like about this toaster? Oh. Besides the fact that it came from me? Oh. Yes. Uh, it's shiny? Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. You prefer this design over... Let's say this red one. <gasps> oh, a red one! <gasps> red one. Pass it down here. That one's red. Give me some of that one. These guys, I feel like, uh, excuse me, I am the senior. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pull me together and then be uh, fired. Talk about glass half full. Try brain half full. Luke, thank you for coming. No problem. Oh, could you be a deer and hang this ornament up high for me? The elves are no help. Yeah, sure, sure thing. Let me just move this ladder out of the way. Good thing I came all the way in from town, huh? <laughs> it was so nice to see you and Mary together. <laughs> Doesn't she look darling? Mom, you wanted to see me? Oh, Mary, hello. Look who's here. Hey, Luke. Hey, Mary. So, what did you want? The, uh, elves gave me this note. Oh, heavens. <laughs> I can't remember. If you'll excuse me, it's time for your father's lunch. It's nice. Isn't it, though? <laughs> Mary. Luke, I... <laughs> go ahead. I don't know. It was nothing. You, you go. You go. I just wanted to say that it was great to see you. And that I'm sorry about. Look, don't worry about it. It's okay. Really? Yeah. It's forgotten. <laughs> so I gotta. I should, uh. I, get, I should get going. Okay. What's the holdup? How the heck did the reindeer do it? I heard that. Nicholas! Where do you think you're going? The doctor said rest. Doctors? What do they know? It's, it's leeches one century, low carbs the next. I've never taken a Christmas off, and I'm not about to start now. And here I was, thinking this year would be different. Go, 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 go. I suppose you just like seeing me laying around all the time, is that it? No, but I like having Mary home. And maybe instead of grousing, you could try supporting your daughter. Dear Santa Claus, I really would like a hamster. My mommy says I can't have a hamster because I already have a fish. But I can't cuddle with a fish, and I want to have something to cuddle with. I love you. Signed, Morgan. Wow, what is this place? Processing. This is where you're gonna... He's almost finished. Banger, me. Reading aloud, sorting by hand. Could they be any more inefficient? We gotta do something about this. Anyway, this is where you're gonna bring the list when you're done. Oh, gotcha. Wait, where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna see a man about a chimney. No, you're doing it all wrong. You're supposed to come down feet first. I did. No, get back up there. Let's do it again. Uh, 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 a 
I'm stuck. She's stuck. She's stuck. Fire! Oh boy. Just give it to Wait. Gary. 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 There is no fire. All right, boys. Let's go. Oh. Oh no. Wait, you didn't eat all the cookies. And there's more. Oh, this should be good. Stockings, half full. Mm-hmm. Oh, present arrangement, sloppy. No jolliness. Jolliness, Dad? Please. Come on, Mary, this is serious. You've only got three weeks to get this right. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Do you ever stop to think that there might be more than one way of doing this? I have been doing this for centuries, and I haven't had a complaint yet. With that attitude, the Wright brothers would still be making bicycles. Yeah, well, don't get me started on the Wright brothers. First in flight, my rosy red cheeks. Now let's get back up there, do it again till you get it right. You know, you'd think you'd be a little grateful. You called me, remember? No, your mother called you. Dad, I'd tell you what to do with this stocking, but I don't want to end up on the naughty list. <laughs> Wait, I'm in charge of the naughty list. <gasps> Here's your stocking. Stuff it. <sighs> my, my. Isn't this a familiar sight? Hmm. All right. The old homework chair. No, no, I meant your father. He loves to work in front of the fire. It's a shame you two aren't closer. You're so much alike. Mom, we're nothing alike. Oh, no, 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 of course not. Your father's just a big workaholic who never listens to anyone. What are you working on? It's work. Mary class of class consulting. Sounds very professional. I suppose you got tired of your last name. One little letter, Mom, not a big deal. No, I guess it isn't a big deal to a girl who hasn't been home for 10 years. Four years, Mom. And you could have visited. Your father doesn't like to travel. Doesn't like to travel? I heard what happened in your test run this afternoon. Oh, Mary, your father's trying. If you could just meet him halfway. What? Mom, there is no halfway with Dad. There never has been. You should know that better than anyone. You've been putting up with it for years. Marriage is about compromise. Compromise? When is the last time Dad compromised on anything? You know what? <laughs> Forget I asked. Morning, team. What's all this? Progress, Luke. This department was dead weight. These new workers will burn through the letters in no time. No more reading aloud. No more sorting by hand. No more wasting time. But it was my turn to read. Now you don't have to. Hmm. Ooh, Donna, do me a favor and coordinate with Bob and get on some data processing. B Bob? Oh, he's our new IT guy. You're sure making your mark, huh? Boy, you are here an awful lot. Don't you have a business to run? Yeah, I do. But I'm also your mailman. It's a busy season, in case you didn't notice. But Luke, snail mail is history. By next year, we'll be 100% electronic. That's what you want? Sure, why not? I don't know. Maybe some things are sacred? Donna, Mary's assistant. Hey, um, Bob. <laughs> IT. Mary just wanted me to go over some stuff with you. 
Oh, cool. Um, I'm almost done. Could you pass me that cable right there? Sure. Uh, the blue one. So how'd you get this job? Temp agency. You know, they take that willing to relocate box really seriously. <laughs> Thanks. Nightingale, where you been? Do I have you to thank for this? I was worried you might go into shock if you didn't get your Jamaican blue fix. Do they even have espresso machines up there in the Great White North? I'm sure I can dig one up. Grant, I'm so sorry I haven't been in touch. That's oh, okay. I'm sure your plate is pretty full. Stop. It's stuck. Okay. You can't even imagine. It's just been so crazy here with my family and the spotlight stuff yeah well we're all dying to see what you've come up with yeah it you know it might take a little longer than expected mary uh grant uh i gotta go i'll call you later okay bye Claire, talk to the mailroom. Find out where we've been shipping all the Mary class documents. Right away. Good. Oh, come on. Dasher, you never liked me. Oh. You'll never get him that way. Oh, right. I don't know the secret reindeer code. It's all about motivation, Mary. Well, I hope you weren't planning on taking her up. What, I'm not old enough to borrow the family car? Well, that's a lot more complicated than that, Mary. Only because you make it more complicated. No, no, no. These aren't like your machines. You don't just go pushing some buttons. I know, I know. No, you don't know. Well, maybe if you would have taken me just once, but you had to keep all of your secrets. Secrets? That's what you think this is all about? Secret? Yes! No. Wait. They can tell if you don't believe in Christmas, Mary. Believe in Christmas? Mm -hmm. I'm Santa's daughter. And there's a difference between knowing and believing. They're not going to fly for you, Mary. Yes, they will. Perfect. No, no, no. Where are you going? No, come on. Come on. Come on. Your mother told me I'd find you here. Oh, these guys are as stubborn as my father is. <laughs> yeah, that runs in the family. <laughs> oh, very funny. Let me help. That's a boy. You were always so great with the animals. Well, I think we were a great team. <laughs> Excuse me, but I was more of a leader. Oh, oh, okay. Well, by all means, please lead on. <gasps> you know, I can do this. Oh. 
Uh huh. <laughs> Shut up. No, no, no. I, I feel very safe. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, stupid reindeer. I think my dad brainwashed him. Now, if we just tied the reindeer to the dogs, that would be in business. <laughs> Here, give them to me for a second. I want to show you something. Frozen. It's just the way we left it. Well, is that a bad thing? Hey, I'm not the only one who wanted to get out of this town. I remember a certain someone wanting to play for the Leafs. What happened? You made it past tryouts. I didn't make the team. So you could have stayed in the city, got a job. Yeah, it wasn't me. So you're okay with Polaris? Yeah, sure. I mean, I got a great business, mushing tourists around, and training dogs, and then there's Christmas. Hard to beat that every year. Wow. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. But they don't have that in the city. Luke, I'm sorry about what happened with us. I know I left kind of quick. <laughs> quick? I came to pick you up for a movie. Your parents said you moved. Yeah, I could have handled that better. I just had to get out of here. I had to get a life of my own. There was, there was no place for me anymore. I came home four years ago and you weren't here. Maybe I was out looking for you. <gasps> Were you really? In my defense, though, I look, all I saw was this quick flash of white fur. Uh huh. So, anyways, he goes barreling over the mountain, screaming, Polar bear, polar bear! And right behind him is this horribly menacing rabbit hopping from print to footprint. I thought it was fangs. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's true. Merry Christmas. Grant! <laughs> Come in. Hi. <laughs> wow, what a journey. Quite the slog to get here. Um, Hello. Grant? Who's Grant? Mom, this is... Grant Foley, and may I say it's a pleasure to meet you. I can see where Mary gets her good looks. <gasps> well, aren't you the silver-tongued devil? <laughs> Grant, uh... What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to help. You're obviously overworked, so I thought I'd lend a hand. Hey. Um, Luke, this is Grant. He is the boyfriend. Boyfriend? Grant? Uh, this is Luke. He's my... He's what? He's... He's the mailman. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you, buddy. Uh, yeah. You too. This is Bob. Hey, IT, what's up? Hello. <clears throat> uh, I, I have, I, I should get going. Yeah. Luke, I, uh... Thanks for your help with everything. Sure. So cozy little place you've got here. It's quite the holiday hideaway. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm here, you'll have to show me around. I can't wait to see where you grew up. Grant, um, there's something that I need to tell you about my family. About my family's business. I get it. Uh, Christmas tchotchkes from way up north. That's your hook, right? Cute idea. Well, actually, we're toy makers. Really? Fantastic. What kind? Well, all kinds. <laughs> Maybe I should show you around. You really got to see it to believe it. Okay. Yeah. So, here's the workshop. This is where the 
magic happen. Incredible. Really incredible. Just when you think you know a girl. Grant, I'm sorry I never told you about any of this. I, I usually like to keep this part of my life. Secret? Separate. Well, this place is unbelievable. Yeah, well, it's a lot more complicated here than you think. It's not all sunshine and sugar plums. My dad and hey, I... Hey, when do I get to meet him? Look, I am so happy you're here, but it is not a good time for me. I'm kind of buried in trying to get this workshop automated. Hey, okay, why don't I just get out of your hair? I'll work on the spotlight stuff in my room. You'd do that? Of course I would, for you. Machine for toy making? Mary, this is madness. I don't know. Go to bed. Go. Go. In the frosty air. What a bright time. The right time. To rock the night away. These presents aren't going to wrap them up. No, this is the way it's going to be. We have a gingerbread man break in uh, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's it. <gasps> no more breaks. No more cookies, candy canes, gingerbread, or hot cocoa. No! All right. Has everybody got a cookie? Yeah. yeah. Last one eat their cookies right now. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going with IT Bob? You guys working well together? Oh, yeah. He's great. I mean, sure, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So what about you and Luke? He's cute. Yeah, if you like that sort of thing. That rugged yet sensitive, charming, and <laughs> funny mountain man kind of thing? Don't all shut up. Grant's here. So, did you and Luke ever... Oh, <laughs> let's change the subject, shall we? Okay. But what happens in the North Pole stays in the North Pole. Oh. Dad! Santa? What are you doing here? Uh, just uh, looking for this. Really? A lot of stapling to do, huh? Tons. You betcha. Mm. Dad, um, is lying naughty or nice? Come on, Mary. You can't just expect me to sit around and, and watch you... Watch me what? Screw everything up? Change everything. Mary, I just wanted to give you a heads up. We're caught up on all the letters, and we're going to start matching to the list. Excellent, Bob. Thank you. I'll be right there. <clears throat> When's the last time you finished the letters this early? 
Dad, this place needed change. We change? Ask Skip. We're, we're using that newfangled invisible tape now. Dad. Just because it's new doesn't make it better, Mary. Christmas is about tradition. Oh, you want tradition. Yep. Okay. Well, how's this for tradition? Wooden trains. What? You used to love to make wooden trains by yourself with your hands. When is the last time you did that? Less time anymore. <laughs> exactly. The world is changing. Whether you like it or not, there's a lot more kids today, and you just can't keep up. Yeah, but I'm still Santa, and so I still know what's best for Christmas. Oh, forget it. You're going. Come on. Uh, there are only two words in bed rest, and you're doing either of them. I'll, I'll walk him back. Thanks, Donna. Oh, such a dear girl. Donna Louise Campbell, 312 Oak Drive. I've been meaning to ask <laughs> you, how did that dream house work out for you? Dad, quit showing off. What do you want for Christmas this year? Um, well, I actually need some new socks. Uh, it, it's what you wanted, but it's not really a cane. No, it's even better. And look, you can hang it on a tree from either end. Yeah, but 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 it's not a cane. Gary, don't argue. Just make a million of them. <sighs> Grant! Hello, beautiful. I came to see you last night and I couldn't find you. I was inspired. <laughs> Voila. I didn't know you were an artist. How'd you do it? The elves. They're talented little buggers if you can keep them on task and off the cocoa. <laughs> Cute. What's it um supposed to be? The future, Mary. You said it yourself, destination shopping. Can you think of a better destination than Santa's Village? Uh, it's like an amusement park with bigger stores. What are you talking about? Well, it's all right here. Hotels, restaurants, rides, and stores. Lots and lots of stores. Grant, <laughs> you can't bring people here. Why not? Did you think that you could keep all of this a secret forever? This place has been a secret forever, and it's going to stay that way. You can't stand in the way of progress, Mary. This is different. What's happened to you? I thought this is what we wanted, what we always dreamed of. Grant, this is my home, not a shopping mall. Promise me you'll destroy this. Well, maybe it is a bit much. Promise me. Here I come. Oh. Oh. Go. We'll talk later. I mean it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it happened. Oh. Wow. Look at this. <sighs> it's very nice to meet you, sir. Grant Foley. I haven't heard from you in quite a while. No, I guess you haven't. No. <laughs> Nicholas? Mother, well done. <laughs> All right. Please, everyone, yeah. sit down. Great, thank you. That's great. Uh. Well, I must say, this is something else. If I weren't here myself, I wouldn't believe it. Thank you for having me. Oh, Mary's friends are always welcome. Oh, yeah, take one. <laughs> there you go. This really is some amazing setup you have here. Do you own all the property in the valley, the mountains and everything? Uh, I have to check the paperwork, but uh, we've been here quite a while. Hey, the details, they get a little fuzzy. It's very impressive. Prime real estate. Is that so? Hmm. <sighs> hey, mailman, you mind uh, overnighting me those peas? Grant. What? I'm kidding. I sure. Thanks, buddy. Welcome. <sighs> so, sir, I couldn't help but noticing your rather interesting trophy there. Oh, yes. Well, I'm afraid Blitzen and I had a bit of a spat back in 81. He left me no choice. <laughs> <laughs> He's pulling your leg. <laughs> it's a fake. I got it in a flea market. <laughs> so, uh, Grant, you must have 
Christmas plans back home with your family? Funny you should mention family. Uh, Mr. Claus, I know that you get a lot of requests this time of year. Yeah, yeah, yes, I am. Yes. Well, in that spirit, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Oh, yeah. Really? Mary and I have been seeing each other for quite some time. And while I was going to wait until Christmas Day, I just couldn't hope for better company. So I'd like to ask Mary a very special question. <clears throat> Would you do me the honor of being my wife? exactly the reaction I was hoping for. What are you thinking? Gee, I don't know. Maybe that I love you and that we should be together for the rest of our lives? Yeah, but why now? Because we're here with your parents. I thought it would be the perfect moment. <sighs> I'm going to need some time. We can wait as long as you want. Six months a year, time isn't going to change how I feel about you. Why should it change how you feel about me? We belong together, Mary. I love you. Just excuse me. Have some sprouts. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Congratulations. Donna. What exactly is going on? Maybe he really missed me. So this was his plan all along? He's probably been planning this for months. <gasps> Maybe even at Thanksgiving. That's why he wanted me to go to his parents. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did he bring a ring? Leaving before pie? Oh, I shouldn't have come. It was a mistake. The only mistake I see is giving up before the race is over. What do you mean? Look, you've been hanging out here for 20 years. Nobody likes the elves that much. Not even me. Bit of advice? It's not enough to just want something for Christmas. You've got to ask for it. Hey, Donna. Brought you some leftovers. Thanks. So I noticed you're never wearing anything Christmassy. Yeah, I just brought what I had. Well, I brought you something. Oh, uh, what is that? Holly? Mistletoe. <laughs> You move really fast. I don't have a lot of free time.
about my Christmas list. Here you go, Dad. Here's your tofu scramble again. Mom's making some whole wheat pancakes. We're just trying to figure out how to make it without butter or syrup. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Interesting fellow, that Grant. Don't start, Dad. No, I'm just saying. It would have been nice to meet him once or twice before you two got so serious. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't know we were that serious. Oh, oh, hi, boss. I mean, hi, boss. <laughs> He's now. She's now. Gary. Hmm? What is it? Oh, thought you might like to take a look at this. <laughs> Still think I couldn't do it? Oh, productivity up. A million percent. Wait, is that right? You betcha. You mean to tell me you're making a million times more toys than you were before? A million times more? Ah, I wish. If anything, we're falling way behind. <sighs> you still don't know what productivity means, do you? Yes. It's when, if you have a, when, you know, no. <sighs> what about all the reports? Well, you said you wanted to see reports that said productivity was up. That's what I gave you. Okay, what about all the changes? What about the machine? Yeah, that machine... It's not working out as well as you'd hoped. <clears throat> Where are the insides? The gears, the cogs? Oh, they just got in the way. The machine is supposed to make the toys. Yeah, that's what... Wait, what? Gary, what have you been doing all this time? Nice form. Luke. Have you been crying? I screwed up. What? I screwed up bad. I, um... I ruined Christmas. Mary, come on. It can't be all that bad. There's not enough toys. The elves are even more confused than usual. Everybody's unhappy, and it's all my fault. Mary, come on. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself. I mean, it, it's an impossible job. Look how much you've gotten done already. Do you think we'd be better off if you hadn't taken over? Tell that to the kids. I won't have to. It's Christmas. It works out. It always does. Thanks. For what? For being on my side. You always knew how to make me feel better. I got something for you. Thanks, but I really don't think ribbon candy's gonna fix this one. <laughs> Where did you get those? Always be prepared. Well, 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 the old seduction kit. Yeah. <laughs> Has this stuff been up here all those years? Since prom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you try anything that night? Are you kidding? I was just a kid. Your dad knows if I've been bad or good. <laughs> Well, you didn't exactly stay in touch, did you? I guess we both made some mistakes. I guess so. Oh, my God! Grant! Mary, Mary, wait! Somehow I doubt that. Cheating on me, Mary? On me? And with that iceberg hillbilly? It's 
it's not what you think. Oh, really? Which part? The part where I catch you in the arms of another man or the part where you throw both our careers out the window? I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? I didn't plan any of this. Oh, please. I thought I left this all behind me. But I can't... can't help how I feel. Luke is... There are more important things at stake here than the mailman. Is... I told you to destroy that. The biggest business opportunity that either of us has ever had a crack at? I'm not going to let you screw this up, Mary. I had corporate run some numbers. You did what? Grant? I trusted you. Yeah, well, I trusted you. See where that got me? I'm taking this to the board to pitch my idea. If you're smart, you'll come with me. You're out of your mind. Fine. Enjoy the peace and quiet, Mary, because when next Christmas rolls around, you're going to have some new neighbors. Now, hold it right there, young man. What do you want, sir? Oh, it's not about what I want, Grant. It's about what you want. Oh, this should be good. It's a red radio flyer. Just like the one you wanted when I was six. Get a clue, you old coot. I don't do little red wagons. I do red Italian sports cars. And I can buy one myself. You leave me no choice, boys. Get him. On three. not too late. Grant, don't do this. Come with me. <laughs> All right, that's it. Come on, get up, get up. Come Hey, what's going on? Probably another staff meeting. did a lot of work but I'm afraid I let you down I tried running things my way and well we all see where that got us and um, because of me somebody came here who didn't belong and I may have jeopardized our future here so sorry. I took away the joy of Christmas. Well, no more. It's high time we had a cookie break. <laughs> you all deserve it.
That was quite a speech you gave. I haven't seen the elves that happy in a long time. I really blew it. How could I have been so wrong about somebody? What if I ruined everything? You just have to believe, Mary. And if the grand mass isn't enough, how can we have Christmas without enough toys? Come on. I want to show you something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Free time on my hands since you took over. Oh my God! Yep. Is it really enough? As long as you believe, you're ready to go. Out with the new and in with the old. Put some muscle into it. Mrs. C, oh, Mrs. C, oh. I heard what happened with Grant. Where's Mary? In the barn, and you better hurry. Hey, I heard what happened. Wow, look at you. Mary, what are you doing? I'm going after him. In this? You getting in? Refresh my memory. Uh, what is it you say to get him going again? <laughs> Very funny. <sighs> They're going to fly. They're going to fly. They're going to fly. You ready? I hope so. Well? Well, what? Oh! Right. On Dash! Oh, it's Grant. I'm at the airport. I'm getting on the chopper now. This had better be as good as you promised. I pulled the entire board away from their families. Don't worry, sir. It'll knock your stockings off. time i've been trying to justify these numbers to the board now you're talking about spending 90 million dollars in northern canada not to worry tj we'll recoup those costs within the first year this property is the centerpiece of my new plan ladies and gentlemen behold i give you the ultimate in destination shock what makes this the ultimate 
in destination show. Well, you're not going to believe this. Wait until you see these pictures. Wait. Wait, sorry, wait. Oh, Miss Class, welcome. We were talking about your proposal. My? Well, ours. TJ thinks it's a brilliant idea. Well, I think it's a terrific plan. A unique Christmas theme mall. Grant and I just had a difference in opinion about location. Oh, really? Mary. Oh, I'm sure he told you about the avalanche problem. <laughs> the avalanche? Well, it's nothing that the engineers can work around. Yeah, sure, assuming they can handle the cold. Cold? 30 below, and that is on a warm day. <laughs> Clearly, if these were issues, there wouldn't be a town right there. Oh, it's an Inuit town. Grant, what are you trying to sell me here? Mary, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> stop what, Grant? I told you before, I think it's a terrific idea for a mall. Just outside Bismarck or near Minneapolis. No, it has to be here. Okay, it has to be here. Mr. Hamilton, I apologize. Grant is under a lot of stress. No, it's not stress. You know that it has to be here. Don't deny it. Grant, darling, it's all right. I think you just need to take a little rest. No, you tell them. You tell them what's up there. It's Santa's Valley. The workshop, the reindeer, the elves, it's all there. This is the real Santa. This is the real Santa. I have pictures. You can see it all. Go on. Tell them. <sighs> Honey, this is the petting zoo. Please understand, Grant is really trying to help. I just think he might need a little time off. Grant, I don't know what you meant by this practical joke, but you have pulled us all away from our families on Christmas Eve to pitch us this ridiculous project. Now, I think that you ought to reconsider your position in the company because I know I will. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry. I apologize. My regards to your families, and we will see each other after the holidays. No, 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 no. This is perfect. Okay, don't you see? There's a monorail, and it runs right through the workshop. No, you're right. That's a bad idea. There's no monorail. Thank you, Holly. No, guys, hey, this is, this is good. Come on, I'll walk you out. Okay. This is, this is a prelim. Draft one. Hey, we're still on Barackable Friday, right? Call. You and me, buddy. We got it. We'll do it. Hey, um, I'll stay here. You guys go on. Get out of here. Merry Christmas. Go Mr. Hamilton, do me a favor and don't be too hard on Grant. Oh, don't worry about it, Miss Class. It is the season of forgiveness. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm going up. Oh. I see. Thanks for being so understanding. Is there anything I could do for you? Yes, there is one thing. I was hoping to have it repaired for my grandson. I think I know someone who may be able to help you out. Excellent. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I have got home. And I am sure that you have things to do yourself. Actually, I do. Take care, Miss Class. You too. Oh! Merry Christmas. Thank you. How'd it go? I think we're gonna be okay. Well, there's just one more thing. I never got what I wanted for Christmas.
This is different. <laughs> Morning, Dad. <sighs> nice technique. <laughs> Thanks. For me? Well, you were kind of on the fence with the whole naughty nice thing for a while. <laughs> But you pulled through. I just... I wanted Christmas to be perfect. Oh, when is Christmas ever perfect? I've been doing this a long time and I haven't gotten it right yet. Really? You? Every year it's something. Run out of tricycles, forget Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> But this Christmas, better than ever because of you. Thanks, Pa. to hear you say that because I have some great ideas for next year next year 